SNL Lathan's been in movies and TVs, TV for two decades, and this year she scored an Emmy nomination for her role in the hottest drama on TV yes, right now. Is. Of course, we're talking about Succession. Now she's having a really cool moment. She's making her directorial debut with the new film On the Come Up. It's about a 16-year-old aspiring rapper who sees hip-hop as her only way out of poverty. And Sanaa plays her mother. Let's take a peek. When you were little, you used to turn everything into a microphone. You know that? If I couldn't find my hairbrush, I knew you were babbling into it somewhere. Your daddy would say, our little miracle gonna be a superstar. Everybody just wants me to be like Dad. You don't have to be. You just be you. It's all the special you need. Ooh. Can, can we just say that? Wait, that... I love the moans. Ooh. Ooh. You sound like my mom. <laughs> That's the best kind of that, audience member. But that <laughs> advice right there, you just be you, is you like the best. Be you. Is that kind of, I mean, you're sitting here and you're oh, having gosh. a moment in your career. Is Have you just found that part of you finally? I feel like finally I'm starting to find it. But yeah, that's, I mean, isn't that the, the message of life yeah. is just to be who you are authentically? Yeah. Um, especially now for young people with, you know, social media and the internet and, and just all of the influences that tell you to be something that you're not. Well, yeah. when you, sometimes, some people say when you hit your 50s, you, you know who, I think Maya Angelou even said, yes. when you hit your 50s, that's when you start to know who you exactly. are. Exactly. You just had a Why birthday. does it take so long? I know. <laughs> but are you getting that sense uh, at this point? Yes, moment? I am. I can't mm -hmm. believe, I mean, I can't believe it. I feel, you still feel young, yeah. right? But there is a sort of peace and a sort of, like, groundedness mm -hmm. that happens. And, yeah, it feels good. Mm. And who told you mm -hmm. to be yourself? Like, mm -hmm. who made you feel like you were enough mm -hmm. just as you mm -hmm. were? Mm -hmm. You know, I have really um, spiritual uh, artist parents who yeah. were hippies mm -hmm. back in the day. And mm -hmm. they kind of, you know, instilled in me the belief that you need to always work on yourself mm -hmm. and grow. And so I've done a lot of therapy mm -hmm. <laughs> over the years. I mean, to even, like, be in this business for this long, yeah. I had mm -hmm. to work on myself because there's just too much noise. It can be very abusive at times, mm -hmm. and you have to have that grounded, you know, kind of backbone. Yeah. Well, there's a saying that says, like, you're the sum total of the five people you spend the most time with. Yes. So choose wisely. Yes. You have an awesome core group. I do. Of women, friends in Hollywood, mm -hmm. too. And you all sort of have come up together. Talk yeah. Talk about, about that group. Who's in it? Oh, gosh. <laughs> um... Chloe Flower, yeah. who she's not in Hollywood, yeah. but she, she kind of is. She's an um, amazing mm -hmm. classical pianist. Mm. Wow. Um, Regina Hall. Yes. You guys know Regina. Gabrielle Union, yeah. Mia Long, Melissa DeSosa. Like, I have, yeah. I actually am so blessed. I, I, coming up, there were really like five of us. You could huh. count on one hand the black actresses working, unfortunately. Yeah, and that and also speaks to the roles that were available, yeah, right? Yeah, there were no roles available and you were fighting. I mean, it's like, but we, people thought that we would be, you know, against each other, but we were actually really held each other up because it was so difficult and there were days you just don't feel like going on mm -hmm. and you have another person who actually understands what you're going through. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you watch Cheryl Lee Ralph's uh, acceptance speech? Oh my God. Girl, did, did you, you love feel it? I loved you it. Chills. Chills all over. I love like, it. I think all of us felt I that. Know. That, yeah. And the fact that mm -hmm. we got to be witness mm -hmm. to that, you mm -hmm. know. Um, okay, we have to talk about this film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First of all, your dad was a director. Yes, yeah. he is a director. He is a director. So yes. is this something that you kind of yeah. shied away from? Yes. And now you're mm -hmm. like, you know what? I'm exactly. going to do what I'm meant to do. Mm -hmm. I, as, a, as a little girl, I always said, I want to be a director like my dad when I grow up mm -hmm. and then as you know life went on the acting bug you know bit me and uh, I went into you know this career mm -hmm. and it took like I said all of my energy and it's just now mm. it was actually the pandemic that I started to really think that was one of the silver linings for me is you know sitting in your house and you're like you know what I really want to do mm -hmm. going forward and so um 
coming out of the pandemic, you know, I had done a short. I directed a short mm -hmm. in my house with my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and coming out of the pandemic, I, um, you know, they started pitching me, and this came, and I was just so in love with the story and the message. Well, finding a, a perfect young act yes. actress that yes. you get to direct, Jamila Gray is her yes. name. It, tell us a little bit about, about her. Mm -hmm. what, wow. So we cast this, um, you know, Remotely, mm. everything was wow. virtual, so I had to go through 200 audition mm. tapes, and you know you're sitting there, and you know sometimes people are great, but they're just not the right yeah. look, or they're yeah. not right. And when I landed on her, I was I couldn't take my eyes off her. Yeah. She has a vulnerability, a strength. She's really special, and. I just feel really lucky to have found her. Yeah. I can't wait for the world to see her in this role. We can't and, wait. And, yeah, I mean, and mm -hmm. the, the world, Toronto seen yeah. it, you know? Yeah. What yeah. was that like? Oh, my gosh. Did you love it? It was amazing. Toronto Film Festival yeah. is amazing. And we showed in a 2,000-seat theater with mm. a huge wow. screen mm. and such a warm audience. My whole family came. <laughs> so it was really a life moment for me. Well, is, is your dad proud? He must. Oh, gosh. He's like, he can't, he can't get over it. He's so <laughs> <laughs> well, we want everyone to see On the Come Up. It premieres this Friday on Paramount Plus and also in select theaters yeah. nationwide. Go so, nah, see thank it. you so Go much. Thank, thank you for coming so to see much. us. Such a pleasure.